In order to draw a single dot on our VGA screen, we need to be able to give our VGA driver the appropriate address and the appropriate color value that we want to draw. So remember we went over the address calculation that you would start with an XY coordinate and use that to calculate a single 11-bit address, which would use the formula 64Y plus X. So I'm going to explain how to do that using this piece of paper here. So remember that our um, X direction, we can go up to 40 bits, or sorry, yeah, 40 pixels. And 40 pixels is going to take how many different address locations to represent? Well, we need, we need six bits to represent up to the number 39. So we're going to need six bits to represent our address in the X direction. For the Y direction, hmm, this new upgrade on the driver decided to connect everything. So in the Y direction, we have up to 30 pixels, which is only going to take us five bits to specify that um, address in the y direction. Now remember the y we have to multiply by 64. Now remember 64 is equal to 2 to the 6. So multiplying by 64 is the same thing as shifting this y address value 6 bits to the left. Alright so let's say we have a register and remember, our registers are 8 bits. So we're going to have a register to hold our x coordinate. It's going to be 8 bits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 bits to hold our um, x value. And remember, we have 6 bits that this is going to take up. So I'm just going to draw in that it's being used using six of these bits. And the upper two don't matter. Then in our Y, in the Y, we are having five bits to specify our coordinate. And let's pick another color here. So we're going to have these five. Okay, so we have our X and Y, but what we want to do is create one 11-bit address. So now you need to think of having this X be the lower portion of the address and this Y be the upper portion. Because what we have to do, remember we have to shift y 6 bits to the left. So if we shift it 6 bits to the left, this is bit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means the first digit of y is going to end up in this position of x. So that way when we add 64y plus x, all we're really doing is putting these values that were in y in the upper portion of x. So we're really going to have the y address or five bits of the y address followed by six bits of the x address to give us our 11-bit address. However, our registers are only eight bits in length, so we can't hold all 11 bits in one register. So what we're going to do is we're going to specify this address in two registers. We're going to specify it in the high address and low address register. So for the low address, let me use another color. these two lower bits are going to end up in the low address register which will consist of the lower two bits of the Y followed by all of the X and then the Y register is just going to become I'll draw it in orange here these three upper bits of Y shifted down 
into the lower part of the high address register. So this then becomes our high and this becomes our low. And so by having a full low address register and a full high address register, we can specify our 11-bit address by writing both the high and the low to the um, MeGA driver. Okay, so all that was explained because we need to look at how to draw a dot. Okay, so at the bottom of the Etch-a-Sketch program, we have a function called draw dot. And in this function, we're using the register R5 to initially represent the X coordinate. Then we're using the register R4 to represent the Y coordinate. And we're using register R6 to represent the color. So when you call draw dot, let's see up here in the beginning, you first put the values that you want. Here I have the value of F and 1, 4 going into R7 and R8, which then get moved into R4 and R5 before I call my draw dot program so that way the registers have the value of the x and y coordinate that I want. Okay, so R5 has the x coordinate which is from 0 to 39 and y has a value between 0 and 30 of wherever I want to draw this and R6 has the value of the color. So the first thing I do is I'm clearing the upper two bits of R5 which is identical to what we did in this um, bamboo paper here. R5 is the X register so I'm because the X register only made use of these lower six I'm clearing these upper two to make sure nothing's in there yet because what I want to do is I want to shift in the lower two of the Y into the upper two of the X and then you can see the next instruction I have is I'm clearing the upper three bits of the Y register because I have nothing in them, so I just want to make sure that they are all zeros. Okay, so then what I'm doing is I'm shifting this Y register over to the right. I'm doing a logical shift right. So it's going that way, which means that this lowest bit is going to end up in the carry register. So if I got a carry, which means if this lower bit was a 1, Sorry about that. If I got a carry means that the lower bit that I shifted out is a 1. That means that I want to go ahead and put a 1 in this position right here in the X register. So it says, if the carry was set, go to add 40. And what does add 40 do? Well, it ORs R5, which is the X register, with the value of hex 40. And what is the value of hex 40? Well, the hex 40 is this 0, 1, 0, 0 and then all zeros. So by ORing the X register with 40, I'm in effect adding that carry, if there was one, into this register. So I'm in effect placing the value that was here into this position of this register. Then I go back, then I clear my carry, and I go back to T1, where I'm going to shift this guy down again. So we already got rid of this guy, and put them over there. And now, now this one is getting shifted into the carry position. So again, we're going to branch if carry set to add 80. And add 80 is going to put a 1 in this bit position. So if there was a 1 over here, it would get shifted into the carry and then get ORed with this register so that way it shows up over here. And then that leaves us with the low register having the value that we need and the high register having the value that we need. So then what we do is we output R5 to the low address. So this is an out instruction that's going to be communicating um, with the per VGA peripheral. Then we out R4 to the high address and then we out our color which is in R6. So these three port IDs represent three different ports to the VGA. So let's go ahead and look at that again. Over here we have in our output process in the port map of the rat wrapper, we have if we get the port ID is the VGA high address, then we're going to write 
the lower three bits of that output port to the 11 bit to the upper three bits of the 11 bit address of the VGA. Then if we have the low address, we're going to output the whole eight bits of the output port into the lower eight bits of the 11 bit address of the display. If we have the right, which is the color, then we're going to output the color to the data port of the VGA. Also, if we have the color, which is the right ID, then we have the VGA write enables a one saying, yes, go ahead and write this color. And notice that these three IDs, the high address, the low address, and the right, which are defined at the beginning of my code here, this is 90, 91, and 92, match the port IDs that I have defined, 9091 and 92, in my RAT assembly code.